that right now you can win McDonald's for life? Yeah, you heard me. A lifelong opportunity to stuff your face full of chicken McNuggets like it's your job. All the fries that you can eat. Ice cream every day. Mm -hmm. That the machine isn't broken. The McDonald's McGold card, which provides you food for life, is awesome. There's just one catch. McDonald's expects you to die real soon. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Food Theory, the only show that never passes up an opportunity to talk about fast food's McDaddy. No one, not even me, is gonna make an argument about the nutritional value of fast food, or whether you should be eating it every day. But there's no denying that the idea of free food for life is just like an ultimate dream goal. Just look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs here. There's literally this bottom tier here, basic needs, upon which everything else is built. And look, sleep, drink, and oh yeah, right in the middle, food. Imagine just being able to knock that one out for the entirety of your life, no matter what happens. Losing your job, losing all your money, but knowing that food was always going to be provided for you. That would be an incredible peace of mind for the entirety of your life. That's pretty amazing. And it can be achieved with one little piece of plastic, the McDonald's McGold card. Believe it or not, this is a real thing. About a month ago, it was making headlines because for one of the first and only times ever, McDonald's was planning to give one of these puppies away. You see, as part of their season of shit, sharing event. <laughs> I don't know who they're trying to be trendy with with that sort of spelling. McDonald's is giving lucky winners a chance to get a McGold card. And not just for themselves either, but for three of their friends as well. That's right, past the fries, your own theorist crew could be sharing in this greasy victory. However, because I'm a theorist, my enthusiasm quickly turned to skepticism, since I know when you're offered something that sounds too good to be true, whether it's shoes that magically lose weight for you or this golf club that doubles as a porta potty, there's gotta be a catch, right? Like if I land this magical McGold card, what am I really getting myself into? To, and what's the fine print on lifetime promotions like this? Well, friends, we took a hard look at this ultimate McPrize and found that the McGold card is actually a little bit more sussy than saucy. To start, for people like me who even doubted that these sorts of things existed, there is, in fact, a McDonald's for Life card, known simply as the McGold card. But the surprising thing about it is that this is nothing new for McDonald's. Turns out the OG of cheap cheeseburgers has been secretly doling out these babies since the restaurant's founding. In fact, it seems like most fast casual chains like Chipotle or even Burger King have been known to send these things out from time to time. Rumor has it that David Dobrik has himself a Chipotle celebrity card and has been able to partner with the burrito baron to give to one fan. That being said, I'm focused on McDonald's today because it's one of the oldest, which matters when you're talking about a lifetime prize. It's also by far the most mysterious, even being referred to as an ancient secret in the promotional marketing. As a sad non-recipient to one of these beauties, I first started looking into who actually has these to get a sense of who makes the cut. And of course, who would be more deserving of free food for life cards than the richest people in the world? I am so glad that those billionaires are getting a little leg up to afford their latest McGriddle. The world is so broken. You can see what I mean. The first official McGold card was gifted to the mayor of St. Louis back in 1965 as part of a ceremony unveiling the Gateway Arch. Since then, the exclusive McGold Club has initiated the likes of Bill Gates, Rob Lowe, Warren Buffett, even the King of Sweden has supposedly gotten his royal hands on one of these. Eat your heart out, Burger King. The true king has spoken, and apparently, he's loving it. ba da ba 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 Ray Kroc, McDonald's founder, quote, was known to informally gift these to folks from time to time. And because these cards, which were originally known as BR guest cards, have been trickled out over the course of decades, almost no two cards look the same. Some, like Warren Buffett's card, only work in Omaha, Nebraska, while others, like George Romney, that's a politician Mitt Romney's dad, they work all around the world. With the McGold card being anything but uniform, it's hard to say which celebrity got themselves the best deal, or whether the one advertised in this 2022 promotion is standard in any way, shape, or form, but it is the closest one to my grasp, so that's the one I'm gonna be focused on today. Now, if you're anything like me, the chance to win McDonald's for life sounds like an absolute dream. Unless my 2023 resolutions really stick, I'm gonna be snacking on more chicken McNuggets between meetings than I ever did as a kid. I've also learned that pounding back a Big Mac is a lot tastier than eating your Christmas tree, so I'm gonna be gunning for one of these cards alongside
alongside everybody else. The way this particular contest worked was that in the lead up to Christmas of this year, you could enter to win the card if you were a US resident 16 years of age and older. But what exactly was it that you were winning? Like sure, it says McDonald's for life, but what does that translate to? Well, according to the definition of the McGold card and the fine print of the sweepstakes, what you're winning is essentially gift cards that are good for a total of $1,040 per year for the next 50 years. So to start off, immediately you can see from this one line alone that the card is far from unlimited in both money and time. Let's look at the biggest picture first, the time you're actually around to use this card. McDonald's is hoping you enjoy your food for life, but they're kind of expecting you to not live that long. The minimum age to enter the sweepstakes is 16, and the card expires after 50 years, meaning that a lifetime to McDonald's involves keeling over at the age of 66, presumably from eating McDonald's every day for 50 years. It's not exactly a huge vote of confidence, Mickey D's, that in 2022 you consider a whole lifetime to be less than retirement age, and almost three decades below the national average life expectancy of 79. Interestingly, in 1955, when McDonald's was founded, the average life expectancy was only 67 in the US. So I guess they were much closer to the mark back then? But that's not the only thing that's living in the past with this promotion. Let's look at the cold hard money involved, which translates to those cold hard burgers. $1,040 per year gifted to you as part of this McGold card sounds pretty decent, right? And it's certainly a lot of nugs to stuff into my mug, but let's just look a little more closely. This amount actually nets out to $20 per week, or only about $2.85 a day. Looking at the McDonald's menu with average pricing in US dollars, you can see that most items cost more than $2.85, and none of the prices include tax. Theoretically speaking, you can get one individual very simple sandwich a day, or an individual order of fries, but not both. And you're definitely not dipping into any kind of specialty sandwich, nothing with double, deluxe, or meal in the name, and almost none of the breakfast, biscuits, hotcakes, or desserts except for the plain cone, which ironically you won't be able to get to anyway because the ice cream machine is gonna be broken. If you're speaking about pure calories, the most that you can order per day is the sausage egg McMuffin, a steal at $2.50 for 480 calories. Or if you don't care about skipping straight to dessert, you can get a chocolate milkshake for $2.79, netting you a whopping 520 calories. Though, you might have to carry a couple extra cents for tax depending on what state you're in. There's probably a theory to be had in here somewhere about whether a human can survive on a single McDonald's milkshake and free water from the drink fountain every day, but you can imagine that even if it's possible, it's gonna get pretty grisly. And over the course of 50 years, you're looking at a health disaster. Luckily, I don't have to run those unpleasant numbers because there's more red tape with the McGold card. See, you can't use this card at McDonald's every day. At the risk of adding salt to the wound, I should probably clarify that that $1,040 that you're being given per year is only expected to be used on a maximum of two meals every week. In an oddly ironic twist, even McDonald's doesn't want you eating McDonald's every day. So essentially, you're taking that $20 per week and you're either getting it all at once or you're splitting it across two visits. McDonald's doesn't clearly define what constitutes a meal in their legal language, so presumably that doesn't mean that you have to order a pre-designated meal from the menu as long as they were purchased at the same time and presumably eaten together. So since we no longer have to stick to our ceiling of $2.84 per day, how do we maximize the bang for our buck based on the most calorically efficient items on the whole menu? For the sake of consistency, let's say we're going one time a week and using as much of the $20 from that week as possible to purchase as many calories as we can. How do I make the most out of my McGold card? Ironically, it's not the burgers or the fries that I'm going to be heading for, it's actually the breakfasts. That's right, among the most calorie dense items on the menu are the hotcakes breakfasts, clocking in at the astounding 1,350 calories for a little over five bucks. Second place is the McChicken, not because it has more calories than other sandwiches, but because it's so inexpensive at a mere buck 79. Rounding out to top three is a sausage and egg McMuffin, which is a great buy at $2.50 for almost 500 calories. So strategically, we should be buying as many hotcakes breakfasts as we can, with whatever changes left over being put towards McChickens or biscuits to maximize our calories and minimize the money we leave behind. With that very clear path forward, all we need is some simple math. With 20 bucks, we can buy three and a half hotcakes breakfasts. Since we can't have fractional purchases, what this means is that we spend $17.37 on hotcakes and the remaining $2.63 on the sausage and egg biscuit for $2.50. With only 13 cents left over, we've managed to buy 4,530 calories per week. This is about 236,000 calories 
per year in free McDonald's. So what's that translate to for real people? Like, is this enough to keep us going? Humans on a 2,000 calorie per day diet would get enough calories for 117 days a year from their McGold card, leaving 248 days a year, more than half the year, with nothing. Across the entire lifetime of the card, the winner would only receive enough calories to live for about 16 years, not 50. So this card might advertise itself as McDonald's for life, but it's more like McDonald's for your midlife crisis. And then there's the other elephant in the room. The thing that really, really kills this card and the one thing that no one considers when they see the promise of a lifetime of McFlurries. You see, they may promise you the same amount of money on your McGold card each year for 50 years, but they don't guarantee the food you can buy with it. Friends, the days of 50 cent hamburgers are over. Value menus are dying. The Big Mac now costs over 11 times what it did when it came out because of one big McGold card killing word, inflation. Over the last 22 years, the Big Mac has experienced an annual price increase of roughly 3.9%, starting at 45 cents to now costing $5.15. That is a total increase of 1,044%, which is a combination of pure inflation plus increased costs of labor and food over time. Over the next 50 years, those burgers are going to be getting more expensive, but your McGold card won't be matching it for sure. We all felt in 2022 when inflation was over 8% in a single year. The buying power of that McGold card is going to go down over the years, possibly having a tenth of the buying power it has today by the end of its term in 2072. To really show you what this all means, today a Big Mac meal containing the burger along with a medium fries and a drink costs $8.39 in my local McDonald's. But if its trends persist in 50 years, I'll likely be paying closer to $56.82. In 50 years, the McGold card, according to how it's marketed today, will be able to buy you less than 19 meals per year. Not even enough for one meal every two weeks, let alone two meals every one week. That's a far cry from what's being promised. And here's the thing, friends. McDonald's has also been around the block for the last 50 years. Presumably, they know what happens to prices over time, but they may be banking on the fact that people entering the sweepstakes in their teens and 20s aren't a savvy. So, is there any way to beat the system and make the prize worthwhile? Well, yes. There is another way to use your McGold card if you really look at the fine print. And that might be your only pathway to a victory that doesn't involve heart disease or losing out on a lot of food because of inflation. You see, McDonald's advertises one prize here, but they're actually offering you two. If you look at the section from the official rules titled prizes, you'll notice that there's an alternate prize that's being offered. A McGold card with a value of $1,040 for one year and a check for the remaining $50,960. This is actually the real jackpot in this game. Instead of watching your money buy less and less hamburger for the next 50 years, you can actually cook up something better. You can invest. This option to take the cash now, all up front, is the infinitely better prize in this situation. You claim your winnings while they still have their promised value, and then you do the very uncool thing of actually investing it. Not in stuff like Burger Coin or an NFT of Ronald McDonald or anything like that, but you know, like real investments. Yeah, it's true. You won't be able to flash your McDonald's McGold card around except for that first year, so the cloud is saying, I get free McDonald's for life is lost, I guess. But the fact of the matter is you never had that much free McDonald's in the first place. And McDonald's, being the smart, responsible company they are and not a YouTuber giving away Lamborghinis, also has included tax on the amount built into your prize. So you get an extra almost $20,000 just to make sure you can pay your taxes on that $50,000 cash prize. So when they say that you get to keep 50 grand, you actually get to keep 50 grand. And what happens to that after 50 years? Well, at a tiny appreciation rate of 3%, just keeping up with inflation, your $50,000 would become $219,000, which is a whole lot of milkshake. At a moderate and completely doable 6% gain per year, after 50 years, your investment would be $921,000, just under a million dollars, all because you decided not to buy a few hot cakes a week. So hey, maybe the prize McDonald's is giving away is pretty good after all as long as you don't use it to buy hamburgers. But hey, that's just a theory. A food theory. <clears throat> oh, sorry guys, I am losing my voice. <coughs> Hey, uh, head editor Dan, can you take the end card for me? I'm kind of losing my voice here. It's it's for our sponsor, Ritual. I've got it written in everything. All you have to do is read it. Uh, sure, man. Yeah, I gotcha. Just rest your little voice. Oh my gosh, you are a lifesaver, Dan. Just one thing, make sure you stick as word to word as possible. I already got it approved by the brand. And if we start mixing things up now, we'll have to get it reapproved. And then Jason will be mad at us. And you know how Jason gets. No problem, boss. But hey, while we're speaking of investments you can make in the new year, thanks to your McGold card, you know, 
the most valuable investment you can make into your own health, thanks to our sponsor for today's episode, Ritual. I, and by I, I mean Matt, I'm just serving as the voice for his words here, don't get a lot of nutrients in my day-to-day -day life. I eat way too much fast food, which means my diet is lacking in all the stuff that's going to keep my body healthy through the cold winter months. Luckily, I've made Ritual's Essential for Men multivitamin a part of my morning routine. It has 10 high-quality nutrients like vitamin A, D, omega-3, and zinc that are difficult for men to get from your diet alone. But I've talked about that on this channel before. What I haven't talked about is their Probiotic Symbiotic Plus, a daily three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic supplement designed to support gut, digestive, and immune health. And Ritual's Symbiotic Plus is science-backed, research-stacked. The probiotic supports the growth and activity of beneficial bacteria living in the gut. The probiotics are live microorganisms included to relieve bloating, gas, and mild diarrhea. And the postbiotic provides fuel to the cells that make up the gut lining and supports gut barrier function. And did I mention that the capsules have a slight minty taste to them? In short, Ritual made leveling up my gut game easy, with subscriptions being delivered to my door monthly with free shipping. And they do transparency right. I know I can expect to receive a card explaining where every labeled ingredient comes from and why it's there. In fact, Ritual is so confident with their product that they're offering 30% off your first month using code FOOD30. That's 30% off your first month just by going to ritual.com slash food30 or using the link in the description and entering code food30 at checkout. Make your gut health be made simple with Ritual. I'm going back to the editor dungeon. That's all. I'll see you next week.